Hello and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV covering more housing items added in patch 6.4 for Final Fantasy XIV. Today two new items again. I like to sort of group things together as much as I can. Not always do they make sense but it is it is what it is. The first item then of the two is actually the raw log half partition which it says is a rustic fence constructed of unrefined logs and branches. Now unfortunately I thought this was a craft item but it's actually not this is from a grand company submersible uh, dive point unfortunately so this is from the lilac c1 and uh, the ship rank was 106 when um, this was reported to have been acquired i didn't get this myself this of course you can get on the market board where i got mine as well for a varied amount of gill additionally we're looking at a short pillar bookshelf i thought we'd look at that again uh, today another bookshelf related item a pillar to support your academic pursuits it says not uh, so much your ceiling. Both of these items are diable. The short pillar bookshelf then is actually a crafted item, which is a basic recipe added in patch 6.4 to your carpenter level 90 basic recipe. 2805 recommended craftsmanship as usual, using four palm lumber, four integral lumber, and one stack of tomes. All right, let's look at these two items then. So first of all, let's get our uh, partition out. I think that's the first thing I want to look at. This is a quite medium-sized item. I expected this to be a lot bigger than it is, uh, unfortunately. Uh, considering this is from a submersible voyage, you would expect a little bit more. It is, however, quite a nice-looking item. I don't really have any bad things to say about it, other than I thought it would be slightly bigger or slightly more ornate. But again, it is just like a half log partition it is interesting to see this in an indoor space this is a sort of item that typically you might find in outdoors uh housing rather than indoors housing uh, it does have some really nice leaves which surprisingly have some super high resolution on them in comparison to a lot of other items they're quite nicely detailed yeah kind of reminds me of it was if it was made of beach or something like that but yeah, I suppose that's the whole point. It's kind of like driftwood, I suppose, or something like that. Or made with mangroves, I'm not really sure. In terms of diability then, this is obviously going to have your typical muted wood grain effect, as is typical with these bright items. I would say that darker colours wash out the grain, but of course you might be trying to match something to walls or other furniture items. This is going to be really good, I think, in terms of uh, having darker colours to make like a bridge. There's some indoor ponds now that we can make, and some people love love to make indoors water feature scenes or nature scenes this is a perfect addition for that and i'm sure people have already utilized this in many of their designs and builds um it is a great idea to do these videos by the way it gives me so many ideas and i get people all the time telling me oh i didn't know about that and then they go and incorporate that into absolute works of art um i wish i was capable of making anything almost as good as any of those people but uh it is awesome. And then the other item I wanted to look at today is the short pillar bookshelf, which is actually quite a large item and a very nicely detailed item. There's my character, uh, which is a small female Makote size, the lowest size possible. Um, so it's a pretty high bookshelf. This is a quite nice 3D item. And the reason I say 3D item is that it doesn't have a back to it. It just has a top and a bottom. Uh, which means you've got all of this detail all the way round. You see these sometimes in public libraries, or at least I do, where I've been before. When I was a kid, we used to go to the library all the time, and I used to pick books out from things that looked exactly like this. Uh, the detail is actually beautiful. Uh, if you go up close to these books, obviously they're not legible, but you look it kind of looks like there's Roman numerals on the side, a bit of Aeorzean script there, deliberately nondescript, so that you can use your imagination and say, ah, yes, I know, I know about that map. I need to consult one of my Atlas books from uh, from my library. But yeah, I really like that. I also like the bookends as well, keeping the books in place. Those are lovely. I'd I'd like to have those in real life. To be perfectly honest, you could probably 3D print something like that. Very nice, like almost fleur de lis or whatever sort of design. 
Very cool. I think these items are not even remotely close to each other in terms of what they are. But again, we're working our way through the items added in patch 6.4. And well, I needed to put it with something. So there we go. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it scratched an itch. Um, in terms of diability for the bookcase, though, before we go, um, the actual case itself dies. When the furniture die and the glamour die options are upgraded in 7.0, if things are backdated, I'm not really sure if this is the sort of item that would benefit from uh, the dual die system, unless you were going to change the colour of the books. I do like how the bookends die as well. I think that's really nice, a good touch. And it looks really good in bright colours, actually. Oh, look, we've almost matched the other furnishing. How lovely is that? Anyway, let me know if you've used these yet. I know a bunch of you have probably used the uh, the actual partition. And I'll see you all next time. Much love. More videos on the way as we continue our look at the patch and more. Bye-bye.